Well, in other news, on Friday morning, landmarks across New York, New Jersey, and all the way down to Florida were rattled with an earthquake. Now, the earthquake in question startled everyone from mom and dad, businessmen and women, commuters, even the Statue of Liberty, plus, ready for this, some of our four-legged friends. Experts say the earthquake initially reported as a 4.0 magnitude, and later on in the day, it was confirmed to be a 3.8. According to New York Governor Kathy Hochul, this is one of the largest quakes to hit the region in a century, so about 100 years. I had the chance to catch up with research geologist Alex Hagum at the U.S. Geological Survey to learn more about the earthquake that shook some. Yeah, so there was a magnitude 4.8 earthquake that was centered um, in northern New Jersey, and this earthquake was felt very widely. We received felt reports from as far north as Canada and as far south as Florida, so it was extremely widely felt for a moderate magnitude earthquake. Although earthquakes in this part of the country are rare, um, magnitude 4.8 earthquakes happen globally every day. So we're at the National Earthquake Information Center, centered in Golden, Colorado, uh, we have analysts working 24 7 365 monitoring monitoring earthquakes globally and magnitude 4.8s are actually rather common they just are um, uncommon regionally here and so this earthquake was a shock to so many people i think because number one they typically don't feel earthquakes in this part of the country and and, and number two it, it was so widely felt so so many people felt it And a quick correction, that was actually 4.8, not 3.8, as Hayda mentioned. And that earthquake that was felt throughout parts of the East Coast again Friday morning has no connection to the earthquake that happened in Taiwan on Wednesday.